Simplify the rational expression 3a squared plus 7ab plus 2b squared all over a squared plus ab minus 2b squared. We're going to simplify this by factoring, so let's start with the numerator. We have a trinomial with a leading coefficient that's not 1, so we're going to factor by grouping. So let's define our AB, our C, and our AC. So our A equals 3. Our B equals 7B. Our C equals 2B squared. And our AC equals 3 times 2B squared, which is 6B squared. So now we have to ask ourselves, what can we multiply together to get 6B squared and add together to get 7B? So that's going to be 6B and B. If we multiply 6B times B, we get 6B squared. If we add them together, 6B plus B, we get 7B. So let's rewrite this numerator as 3a squared plus 6ab plus ab plus 2b squared. All right, so we've replaced this middle term, 7ab, with 6ab plus ab. We're going to group the first two terms and group the last two. And now let's factor this first one. We can pull out a 3 and an a. Right, so 3a times a gives us 3a squared plus 2b. 3a times 2b gives us 6ab. Now let's do the second binomial. We can pull out a b. So we multiply by a. b times a is ab plus 2b b times 2b is 2b squared. Okay, so now we have two binomials. Let's look for a common factor, which is a plus 2b. We've got it here and we've got it here, so we can pull that out. a plus 2b times 3a plus b. All right, so we can rewrite this numerator as a plus 2b times 3a plus b, right? So we factored the numerator. So now let's factor the denominator. Well, we have a trinomial. We have a leading coefficient of 1. So we know that we're going to have the product of two binomials. The first term in each one is going to be a. a times a gives us the a squared. This negative sign tells us that we're going to have a positive and a negative. So now what can we multiply together to get 2b squared and add together to get b? Actually, we want to multiply to get negative 2b squared and add together to get positive b. So that would be negative 2b and actually positive 2b and negative b, right? 2b times negative b is negative 2b squared, which we have here, and then positive 2b minus b will give us the b, which we have here. So we can, so our positive term is going to be 2b, and our negative term is going to be b. Okay, so now we factored the denominator. So now let's look at this and see what we can cancel. Well, we have a plus 2b in the numerator and a plus 2b in the denominator. So both of those cancel. And we're left with 3a plus b in the numerator and a minus b in the denominator. And that is our final simplified form.